with our beers today because I want to make sure that. Me and James hanging out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I'm trying to drink with a mask on. <laughs> Cheers, guys. So this is uh, Matchery Brewing and Blackberry Farms. I'm going to butcher this because I don't speak, uh, I don't know if it's, it's Belgian language, French, I don't know. Uh, Almiel. Does that sound Sounds good to me? <laughs> uh, it's a Belgian strong golden ale. It's 8.6% out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Drink local. Yeah, um, boy. It's good. It's got, um, do you give like a little bit of lemon maybe at the end of it after that funky yeast? Oh, yeah. For sure. It's good. Um, really nice color. Um, it looks that like golden. it. golden. I mean, you can, like, if you're holding it, you can see your finger on the other side. But if you zoom in on this boy, um, it's an unfiltered ale, so you get a lot more. Um, I like to call it the goodies. Yeah. I personally prefer unfiltered beer, but like if you have stuff like lagers and pilsners, they're always filtered. Those are beers you can see through. Yeah. So James can't come to the party tomorrow, so we're I brought the party to him. <laughs> Look, I got a hold of him, so don't let him tell you any That's different. True. <laughs> he did do that. Yeah, he called um, me. <laughs> we're doing a beer trip uh, to see if there's any beer he needs to pick up for the party or for the next episode of Thursday Thursdays. Oh yeah. So make sure you all watch that. So I just met this guy Ryan McCainish. What up? He just bought a, um, a bus. He's gonna turn it into a tiny house. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Old school Econo line. Where'd you buy it from? Uh, I bought it from National Car Lot up in Cleveland and Brook Park. Super nice guys. Uh, also, if you go buy a car from them, I get a hundred dollars. So keep oh. that in mind next time you go up there. But yeah, they're nice guys. Gotta get that affiliate link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, there's a nice plug for you guys. Yeah. Forget about it. I would talk and about how they treated you in the garage, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, no, they hooked me up too. I. Uh, I bought the bus off of them, and uh, when I went to get on the highway, the uh, catalytic converter clearly had a huge hole in it. Called them about it, and instead of making me pay for it, they took it to the garage and paid for it themselves. They're cool guys. So. That's real customer service right there. Yeah, for sure, man. So, you, you guys are doing good. You said you're starting a YouTube channel? Yeah, I haven't had a name for it yet. I might go with the same as my Instagram. My Instagram's uh, Weathered Wayfair with an underscore between the words, but. Um, we'll see what's up. I, mean, I named my bus uh, Callisto or the Galilean Ooh, moons. I like it. Yeah, for sure. Past few vehicles have been named after the other moons, so I felt like cool. I should keep going. Sweet. Yeah. But yeah, dude, we might do something in the future. We never yeah, know. We'll do a collab. <laughs> uh, the backyard crusher is actually pretty tasty. So that's yeah, the lime good. lager, right? Uh, yeah. My it's really smooth. smooth. They kind of taste like purple candy in the wine. Like, oh. um, did you like that urban artifact that got you that was raspberry? Go on. Oh yeah, dude, that was amazing. I want to try that. Is there... Raspberry and blackberry Midwest fruit tart. The gadget oh. is a staple. It's really good. You can have. You can have it. Which one is it? The last one. The oh. gadget. Okay, yeah, thanks, man. You can get that all the time, though. So we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get fancy here. Get the little fancy. <laughs> How about a coconut macaroni coffee imperial stout? That sounds amazing. I'm gonna get some food, my dudes. Well, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, yeah I love that. Hang out. Yeah, Corona. <laughs> See you, man. Hey, thanks for hooking me up with a little... First, man. A little uh, six-pack right here. And uh, I'm going to miss you tomorrow, but I'm glad that we got to hang out today. Yeah, sorry I can't come tomorrow, you know. <laughs> too many people, social distancing, all that stuff. So yeah. I got yeah, plans to do, so. Well, but uh, do you want to show off what you got on the channel? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. So I got Christmas in July from 12 Dogs of Christmas. Urban Artifact, the gadget, was that Backyard Crusher by Royal Docks. They're here in, in uh, Jackson, really. Hoppin' Frog Turbo Sandy. Out of Akron, Ohio. They are amazing. RS Heavy Containment. Our, our Shays is with us since we... Oh, our Shays. Yeah, Ron Shays is the owner of Ron Shays. And it's, uh, They're that's gonna be a good one. Up in the valley if you wanna check them out. Slip it. Come on, boy. Oh, no. Work with me now. <laughs> <laughs> this one is called Zombie Dust. That's by Three Floyds Brewing Company out of Munster, Indiana. So, got a good little pack going for tomorrow. Do and, mine uh, too? Yeah, what do you got? All right. We're going classic Ohio beer with Great Lakes. Uh, they have a new lemon Hefeweizen that I wanted to try. We've got some Untitled Art, which is a rocket pop, uh, popsicle sour. It's a Berliner Weiss, which is kind of like a base off of uh, a German sour style. Uh, this is uh, actually out in... Um, WIS Wisconsin. Uh, we got Aviator by Working Class Brewing Company. They actually followed 
our Instagram channel. They're out of Cleveland, Ohio. They seem like some classy folks. We've got Nightmares Patricide, mm. uh -oh. <laughs> uh, which is a uh, imperial stat with coconut, lactose, Madagascan vanilla, vanilla, yes, vanilla, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla, <laughs> vanilla uh, and aged on Ecuadorian cacao. Uh, they are out of, I think that's Connecticut. Their font's a little old English. I think that's yeah. CT, Connecticut. So. Uh, you got the one of the classics from uh, oh, uh, America, some Dogfish Head Sunday Feels, uh, which is a beer mosa sour. I'm not entirely sure if that's just going to be orange or not, but it sounded good. Looks like orange and lemon based on the label. They're out of Delaware. Uh, Revision Brewing Companies. Looks like it says Hazy Life. I'm assuming, uh, let's see here, it is a, uh, obviously Hazy, a Double India Pale Ale, Hazy IPA. A brewed and canned by Revision Brewing Company in Nevada. But yeah, you know. Gotta try all the new stuff. It's like Pokemon, gotta drink them all. Gotta so. drink them all. Yeah, man. It was good hanging out with you, bro. Likewise, man. Glad we met up. Yeah, a little elbow bump. <laughs> all right so got a little late start to the day i was up late last night editing that first video but i got up took a shower went and hung out with uh james umball at fishers we went and got some beer uh today is all about just kind of prepping for this week trying to clean the house i got a lot of dishes that need to be done i got a lot of clothes that need to be folded um and then there's a couple video projects that i'm working on that i'm hopefully going to get you know make some headway on and uh, that way I can start next week on Monday, kind of fresh. Overall, good day so far. Maybe watch Hamilton later on with Betsy. We've been trying to watch it. I'm, I'm really excited. Like I've listened to the album, but uh, I've heard that the Disney Plus movie is really good. So looking forward to that. It's my birthday party, y'all. We got that croquet. We also got this weird dart game. We're gonna have some cornhole. Got some people coming. It's gonna be a good time. Turn it upside down. Oh, hey. Hard. Oh, no. Adam, put your hand in front. We knew it. It's, it's... Oh, good oh. lord. Oh, oh. I'm all Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right, we got it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. You already blew him out. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm 30, y'all. I'm 30, y'all. 30, y'all. I got to get you taking a bite on here. Mm. Sorry. We probably should have just did it in the house. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Everybody's already out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very messy. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. I'm actually like I grabbed my own Did you have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Even I, you know, spoiled it for you. It all worked out. Yeah, it all worked out in the end. It's all great. <laughs> Love you, bro. Oh. <laughs> Love you too, man. Thanks for filming it. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. All right, good morning, morning. Happy Monday. To everybody out there, I'm sipping on that coffee. It's been a pretty productive day so far this morning. It's about 9.40 a.m. And uh, I scheduled a meeting for a couple. We're gonna FaceTime. They're getting married next June. So I met them at a wedding a couple weeks ago. And so we'll get things kind of rolling. So that's really good. And then um, there's also someone here in uh, Canal Fulton. She owns a small music store and she tutors students and uh, people in town. She's trying to adapt to um, kind of the changing uh, economy of what's going on in the world. She was asking uh, a friend of mine if, if I could help her with some video to kind of help put the word out that she's doing stuff and maybe help strategize a little bit. So I'm gonna call her very soon. Um, also trying to get my car air conditioning fixed. It's too hot for that, man. I can't, I can't keep going. But so far I have a running list of uh, things I, I'm, I'm kind of get trying to get done this week. Uh, after I finish this little coffee, I'm taking break on a walk. If not, 
he'll just be very uh, needy all day. And so I'm gonna take him on a little walk and then uh, get started on this list, get things done. And uh, I think tomorrow I'm, I'm gonna do an Instagram live in the morning, uh, kind of like a coffee little session, talk about stuff. I don't know what it's gonna be about, but uh, we'll see. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good week. I'm excited. <clears throat> my birthday is tomorrow, my actual birthday. So I'm gonna be 30 in less than 24 hours. Cheers to the future. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's take a little walk. It's definitely a nice day out. What's up, buddy? It's a hot day. Try to do these walks before it gets too hot or a uh, brick gives up within like 10 minutes. It's too hot for him. Can't handle the heat. Follow me. I like this bridge. It's kind of cool. It's like an old bridge that goes over the canal. You get tired, buddy? Always gets tired right around this point. We're like three blocks away from the house. Woo! Getting hot outside, man. But Mr. Brick got his walk in. He's doing pretty good. I'm about to make, he still wants to go outside. Look at this. I'm super hungry. I'm. I'm one of the worst people at trying to like eat breakfast. Like I love breakfast food, but actually like making my own breakfast, I kind of struggle with. So I'm gonna make a little smoothie, uh, put some coffee in it, some dates, some banana, um, and some protein powder. And then I got a couple errands I gotta run. And then I'll be back here. I need to start editing some videos because that is part of the plan for today. So it's gonna be a good time. Let's give this a little. Mmm. Delicious and nutritious. I'm sitting here waiting for some footage from uh, yesterday and today to uh, upload. And uh, I'm watching this Gary V. He was kind of like part of the reason why I decided to do this. Like, he always says, like, go for it. Like, what do you have? He's basically like, what do you have to lose? Like, one of the biggest things. Uh, that he sees in people that are 80 to 90 years old is regret. Regret that they didn't go out and do something that they were kind of afraid to do. And uh, this video is called Why Everything is Scary Until You Do It. If you have a chance, I'll put it, maybe like a link to it. But he said something that like hit home just now. And I'm like, whoa. Uh, I'll just I'll show it to you real quick. I think people have a horrible relationship with time. Do you know how many people in this room are scared shitless of 30? Like it's some thing, like it means nothing. But our society has decided to tell you that you have to figure it out and marry and children and what are you talking about? 98% of the 59 year olds I know don't have it figured out. The hell are we supposed to have it all figured out at 30, 25? Like people are making terrible decisions, getting married because they think they're supposed to by this age. You know, like buying homes because they think they're supposed, like the rules of modern, society have led to, everybody wants to blame technology, you know, and drug companies for, you know, all our problems. We need to blame our norms, our expectations, our ridiculous North Stars that have, make no sense. So yeah, that was kind of funny. I was like, dude, you're right. I, w I, I have been afraid of turning 30. There are some of us that are like, their lives are really put together. They have things going on. They know what they're doing. And then there's some of us that like from New Girl, where we're like struggling to find, figure things out by, you know, time we're like 30 to 35. Like I see other people that are doing, you know, amazing things, living out, you know, their dreams. But then I also see people that are just, you know, living out their careers. And there's me in the middle. I've always been like put in each half of that. Either commit one way or another. Um, and this is like a weird like sign or something like. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I need to commit to one thing or another. That's what this week's about, man. All right, got a couple errands to run. Uh, one of them, I got to pick up some new skin cream for my dermatitis. That's why I got this like 
really dry skin on my under my eyes and my forehead super fun it's great you know just one of those fun things about getting older you get these weird skin things one of my side side hustles is that i take photographs for of people's houses for um you know huntington bank fifth third whatever i do that a couple times a week a little nice extra you know 40 hundred dollars here and there depending on how many i do so i'm really hoping that it doesn't rain or anything today because i got to keep these windows open because it's freaking hot outside and my air conditioning I can't take it in to get fixed till tomorrow. So we'll see what happens on the road again. All right, so one of the things that I wanna do with uh, videos is uh, music videos. I attempted to do some music videos when me and Jesse had our California Attic project, but uh, for some reason we, we had like a short amount of time on like early Sunday morning to do this thing. And uh, we tried to do like a, like a one shot music video walking around downtown Canton and uh it just didn't work out like cars would get in our way or whatever like it was it was kind of hectic but now that i've been getting into video stuff i'm like man i think i could do some really cool stuff with music videos and um so i've reached out to a couple of friends one of my friend jamal we were, we've been talking about maybe doing some stuff and then also a guy I graduated from high school with his name is john p the mc july 3rd he um released like his latest album it's called say what you mean and so I'll have a link down below, actually, if you guys want to check that out. Um, it is really good, man. Like, he, I've always liked his style. He's he's just a, a really cool guy. So go support him, man. Like, John P., he's a cool guy. He, like, blew up on uh, Reddit. He's a mailman. And with his, his hat on, he looks like, I forget the character. Um, I'll show it, like, right over here. Uh, but it like blew up on Reddit and so it's pretty funny and then he was also on Sway in the Morning Which is really cool. I just snapchat him today I'm like hey man, let's maybe do a music video in the future and he was like dude Let's do it and he's got a few songs like a about Canton and uh, It'd be really cool. Just uh, I think I got some ideas kind of cooking up here kind of stuff We could do but kind of highlight Canton and all the cool stuff that it offers. So yeah Making some moves today Boom. Hey What are we gonna do? Lots of stuff. We're gonna go get the car, drop the car off to get fixed at Napa. Going on a walk. Going on a walk. Well, we're in the car right now, but we're going on a walk. Yeah, we're totally walking right now. <laughs> so fast. Do you like that? What are you doing? Paint on stuff. We're like getting bit up out here, right? Yeah. The mosquitoes. The us. I don't know what we should have expected. Yeah. <laughs> We're right next to like a stream. Well, it, who cares? It's friggin' Ohio in the summer. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right, so this is the end of the vlog. I didn't record anything until now, but uh, it is officially my birthday, so I'm drinking a little Woodford Reserves. Mm. I gotta get this video up and then um, got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Um, I think it was a pretty productive day. I didn't get a lot more of the video stuff that I wanted to get done today. Um, so I'm gonna focus on that tomorrow. Um, I did get my air conditioner up in my office. So now I'm not gonna be sweating up here when I edit things. So that's nice. <laughs> if you got a little bourbon, do a shot for me. And uh, thank you guys for following the vlog. Thank you guys for wishing me happy birthday on the Facebook. Um, I think a couple have already started to pop in, so, you know, I appreciate it. But uh, I'm starting to post more on Instagram, plus I'll do a Instagram Live tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. I'm going to put this video up at, like, 7 a.m. And so, if you're one of the few watching at 7 a.m., up early with A-Rob. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there'll probably be an Instagram live. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work out, but we'll see. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. So, But I'm another year older. Another year wiser. Hopefully. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. And until uh, the next vlog, cheers to you. And uh, hope you guys are having a good week.